Those court documents showed that the suspects were all part of that anti-government religious group that I mentioned off the top called God's Misfits. Is this a group that was ever on your radar? So this is not a group that was on my radar, but what we're seeing now is these domestic extremist groups pop up with the belief that the, uh, the establishment is overarchingly corrupt. So undoubtedly, they believed in this child custody dispute that they could not get a fair break from the, uh, the judge and that they were going to take matters in their own hands. Mm -hmm. So in your experience, how does this change the nature of an investigation when the FBI learns that suspects accused of murder are affiliated with a group such as this? So, Marky, what they'll be looking at is, is there a greater conspiracy? Were there other members of the group that knew that this was going to happen, conspired to help them make this happen, to include financial resources or helping dispose of the bodies? So the investigation continues, and the FBI will assist local law enforcement because the murder charge is the most egregious charge, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted to, to bring up the fact that Veronica Butler was in the middle of a custody battle with her children's grandmother, who is now one of the four suspects. Um, Josh, I wanted to play a bit of sound for you because Butler's friend, Buffy Schooley, spoke exclusively to our Chris Cuomo last night. She said she knew it had to do with something with this bitter custody battle. As soon as she learned her friend was missing, take a listen to what she had to say. She had been going through a terrible battle for quite some time. I, I didn't know all the, all the other parts about her getting harassed and threatened. Um, we didn't talk about that much in our conversations. Um, but I know that, that she was fighting for her, her children. Josh, how do custody battles shift the focus and solvability of an investigation like this? Well, in the solvability, you have a motive. It was clear from the court affidavit that the grandmother wanted greater control of and custody of those children. And when uh, you look at uh, the God's misfits and their ideology, plus the purchases and then, of course, the crime scene, you can you can easily determine that there was violence perpetrated, which certainly law enforcement did. So you start with the basis of the fact that there is a motive to conduct this crime. And just a few seconds left. I mean, now that we have four arrests, two bodies, what will next steps look like uh, in this case today and in the days to come? So the investigation will continue. Uh, certainly, they have cell phone uh, records to go through. Mm -hmm. They'll be looking at greater uh, conspiracies. I mentioned earlier, are there other folks a part of God's misfits that either knew or conspired to help make this happen? And so those interviews and investiga uh, investigative leads will go on. Yeah, we'll see if we also get a positive ID from that medical examiner's office uh, here this week as well. Josh School, always good to have you. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.